It's all about, you know, str the strategic planning process. Preparing for the fire season, what CAL FIRE is doing and the problems the agency is facing is our top story at six. Good evening, I'm Janelle Padilla. Scott Hennessy is on assignment. Central Coast firefighters are beefing up staffing and counting on additional resources this fire season. In San Luis Obispo County, more than $5 million in grants is helping the, with fire prevention efforts. KCY 12's Natalie Vera is live at the Cal Fire Station in Napomo with an exclusive look at the challenges that lie ahead this summer. Well, Janelle, Cal Fire is targeting some of the highest fire risk areas here in the county. And just recently, I had a chance to ride along with officials to take a closer look at some of those projects. They tell me that it's about 15 projects making up about 20,000 acres. Eventually, most areas in California are, are likely to burn at some point. Alan Peters of Cal Fire knows that to be especially true in areas like these. It's really the remoteness and the lack of uh, fire activity in recent decades that make this area so important to do. Earlier this month, Peter uh, took me to the site uh, of one of 15 fuel not. reduction projects yeah. in the county. Right now we're headed for Upper Los Barros Road. We're going back into um, a valley that lays between the, the Napomo Valley and the Wasna Valley. And there's a, there's a subdivision area back here called Sway Creek. And there's probably about a hundred or so homes. We're only a few miles out from the fire station in Napomo. And already you can see the road quickly narrowing. This is a threat during an emergency. Emergency traffic is going in and residents are trying to leave. These roads are so grown over, you know, they don't even show up. Yeah. All these orange areas are where we're going to treat with uh, mastication equipment and make a shaded fuel break. Crews just started working on making these roads more accessible. Even then, take a look at how narrow the road is right now. Even for a pickup truck, it's hard to get by, but eventually the goal is to make it so that emergency vehicles can drive through in both directions. Are there 11 total crew members here? This hand crew is one of Cal Fire's newest resources. The agency also has new mowers and the large remote controlled chipper. Over the summer, two tankers and three additional wildland engines will be staffed. In recent weeks, crews have targeted other areas like Running Deer Road, Oak Shores, Las Palitas Road, and Heritage Ranch. It's all about, you know, str the strategic planning process. For those living in this densely wooded region, this fire prep is encouraging. But still, thoughts of huge brush fires is nudging them to take extra precautions. My partner and I just have been thinking about trying to buy a used water truck in order to have how many? gallons, like 2,000 2, 2, gallons of water on site that would be ready to use if we wanted to damp down the house. Officials are also keeping a close eye on communities like Cambria. Almost everywhere in Cambria is, a, is definitely a high risk. The town bears frightening similarities to paradise, wiped out by the campfire last year. It's the wildland urban interface, so we're in a forest, a lot of elderly community, so that presents a lot of problems. There is also another major problem in Cambria. Highway 1 is the only escape route. They've always said every year is the, the worst fire season ever, and that's exactly how we're treating this year. Which is why high-risk areas are being cleared. And as always, CAL FIRE is reminding homeowners to make sure that they take care of their defensible space. And this is what can create a buffer between your home and the fire. Starting tomorrow, inspectors will be visiting residents in those high-risk areas as part of a defensible space program. Live in Nepomo, I'm Natalie Vera, KCOY 12 Central Coast News. All right, thank you, Natalie.